Sometimes a programmer may need both the current position index and corresponding element value when they're iterating over a sequence, such as a list, tuple, string, or even a dictionary. So the enumerate function will get both the elements index and value at the same time. Unpacking performs multiple assignments at the same time and binds comma separated names to the elements of a sequence. For example, if you, you can have num1 comma num2 and assign that to the list of 25 comma 42 and that will at the same time set num1 to 25 and num2 to 42. So let's now take a look at an example of the enumerate function and try out unpacking as well. All right, let's try out the enumerate function. So let's create a list called brands. We've got Nike, Adidas, Vans. So now let's enumerate through all these brands. So we'll say four index comma values because that's what we want to, what we want to get both the index and the value in enumerate brands okay so that's where we use the enumerate function and then we're going to print out each one by saying print using f string we'll print out the index number first followed by the brand name which is going to be the value all right so just like that let's run this program and you'll see that zero is nike one is Adidas, two is Vans. So that's what the enumerate does, the enumerate function. It gets the index and value of your list. So instead of just getting the value, we're getting the index also, which may be useful. And also finally, to talk about unpacking a little bit, we can have something like num1, comma, num2, and assign that to a list like 50 and 100. And then we can print num1. And you'll see that it'll print 50. And if we print num2, it should print 100. So that's all unpacking is. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.